Join me to complete this routine for knee osteoarthritis as well as talk about five mistakes made when exercising with osteoarthritis. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Tess, physiotherapist. Exercise is a fundamental component of the management of knee osteoarthritis and the benefits of exercise for improving pain and function are well researched. However, the benefits of exercise are dependent on keeping up with an exercise program long term. This is challenging. So challenging that the long-term adherence to exercise for people with osteoarthritis is poor, with a global underutilization of exercise. Understanding common mistakes or barriers to exercise is one step to overcoming them, being able to stick to an exercise program and subsequently gaining the benefits of exercise. By the end of this video, you are going to know five common mistakes made when exercising with knee osteoarthritis and how to overcome them. Let's get started. Starting with a warm up of quadricep activation, sitting on a mat with a small towel rolled up under your knee, press your knee into the towel. Repeat 10 times. You should feel the quadricep muscles at the top of your knee activate. The first common mistake when exercising with osteoarthritis is choosing goals based on past achievements. Typically, this is a goal that was set or achieved before having osteoarthritis. Setting short and long-term goals is a core component of a successful exercise program. And in theory, getting back to a previous functional level seems like a good goal. However, this is not always the case. Repeat with your left knee, again, 10 times. Aiming to re-achieve a past goal may not take into consideration current circumstances, which can make it more difficult to achieve the same goal now compared with the past. When thinking about current circumstances and the possibility of re-achieving a past goal, a good question to ask is, did you have osteoarthritis symptoms to manage previously? If not, what additional time might be required to manage symptoms? And is your base fitness level the same as it was previously? Think about age, job, hobbies, and general activity. If not, what additional time might it take to reach the same level of base fitness? The second warm up exercise is heel slides. Slide your heel along the mat to bend your knee. Again, repeat 10 times. Another question to ask is, do you have the same motivations? For instance, maybe you achieved a 10 kilometer run because you had registered into an event with a friend. Are you still motivated by that friend or a similar event? If not, it may be considerably more difficult to maintain the same motivation levels. Additionally, when working toward a goal you have achieved in the past, there is likely comparison against your former self and focus moves to mourning the past rather than the joy of the future every time you exercise. This can become demotivating quickly Repeat with your left knee. Slide your heel along the mat to bend your knee. A tip for better goal setting is to think about current circumstances, interests, and what a good future looks like. This might involve different types of exercise, for example, swimming, yoga, or lawn bowls. Whatever the exercise of choice, the focus is on learning a new skill set and exercising to support that rather than attempting to recreate the past. Alternatively, it might be a similar type of exercise but contain a new goal. For instance, if you enjoyed being outdoors at sunrise when previously training for a 10K run, the new goal may incorporate exercise outdoors in the morning, like bike riding, an outdoor Tai Chi class or a nature walk. Moving on to the strength-based component of the routine, starting with squats. With your feet shoulder width apart, bend at your hips and knees to squat. Repeat three sets of eight reps. Here, I'm doing squats to 90 degrees and freestanding. However, as you follow along, do squats to the level you are at, such as sit to stand from a chair or mini squats holding onto a chair. The second mistake is believing that flare-ups of pain are a sign of failure. Exacerbation of pain is not a sign you have failed at exercise, 
but it might be a sign you have failed to plan accurately. For instance, a typical exercise program might be 12 weeks with three sessions of 45 minutes each. This sounds like a great plan and it may be for a person without osteoarthritis. However, when living with osteoarthritis, flare-ups of pain can happen. It can become disheartening to miss a week or a few weeks of exercise and not accomplish your plan due to pain from osteoarthritis. A way to overcome this problem and prevent potential feelings of failure is to plan for flare-ups of pain. For example, a 12-week plan may include 10 weeks of exercise and allow for two weeks rest, where the two weeks can be taken at any point the flare-up happens. This is just an example. It could be more or less. However, the point is to incorporate flexible rest periods into your program. This is particularly important as exercise should form part of a long-term plan and be sustainable for many years to come. Moving on to deadlifts, standing with your feet shoulder width apart, bend at your hips and knees to lower the weight to below knee height. Then straighten your hips and knees to rise. Ensure to keep your back straight and your shoulders back throughout. The third mistake is training for weight loss first. Weight loss can form part of an effective management strategy for knee osteoarthritis with a systematic review and meter analysis conducted in 2018 finding that a 5-10% to weight loss improved pain, self-reported disability and quality of life. So if weight loss has great benefits, why not start there? While weight loss is beneficial, it is a lagging indicator. In order to get the benefit of sustainable weight loss, changes in leading indicators such as behaviour, nutrition, exercise and mindset will need to occur first. Because results will show in leading indicators before lagging indicators, goals and outcomes should be set to leading indicators first. Secondly, weight loss may not always be proportional to effort. Typically, a plateau may occur after a period of initial weight loss as the body attempts to compensate and prevent further weight loss. This means it can take additional effort to maintain the weight loss achieved or lose additional weight. This can become disheartening and demotivating at a time that is likely crucial to embedding the habits needed to continue on. Therefore, having the first or main goal as weight loss could be detrimental to sustaining a plan long term. Ideas for targets based on leading indicators include aiming for a particular weight with strength exercises, aiming for a distance with endurance exercises like bike riding, or a target around a habit like setting out exercise clothes each night. The next exercise is heel raises. Standing, rise up onto your toes, then lower back down. To aid balance, stand next to a stable object such as a chair or bench. Repeat three sets of eight reps. The fourth mistake is counting steps. When it comes to exercise, it seems to make sense to begin with walking and counting steps. This is because walking has a low cost of entry. It is an easily accessible form of exercise, requires minimal effort to start, and is relatively cheap. These are great benefits and in general, walking and step count can be a good way to start the habit of exercise and gain fitness. However, for those with osteoarthritis, there can be some traps. The first trap being the 10,000 per day step target. It is difficult to resist this target when counting steps. But attempting 10,000 steps too quickly with minimal conditioning can result in overload of osteoarthritic joints and increased pain. The second trap is losing sight of other forms of exercise beneficial for managing pain and improving function, such as mobility and strength-based exercises due to the time it can take to reach 10,000 steps per day. To overcome these traps, it is important to follow the principle of progressive overload which means to add load gradually over time. An example is beginning with a base of mobility and strength exercises before adding additional steps, with increase in step count coming alongside increase in strength and mobility gains. 
The next exercise is feet together stance, aiming to hold for 30 seconds. The final mistake ties our first four together and is ignoring the logistics. It is a reminder to put in the hard work now by setting goals for the future, targets based on leading indicators, adding flexible rest periods and following the principle of progressive overload. Exercising with osteoarthritis often requires more thought and planning, but the benefits in the long term are worth it. Moving on to single leg stance. If you are unable to complete single leg stance, continue with feet together stance or tandem stance. For your planning, start by setting a goal for the future. For example, competing in a recreational dragon boat event within six months from today. Set two to three targets to help you achieve this goal. For example, have a rowing lesson within the next four weeks. Pick two knee strength exercises for osteoarthritis to complete two to three times per week for three out of the next four weeks. And research Dragon Boat Clubs nearby within the next four weeks. Next, note down flexible rest period. For example, I'll do exercise three out of the next four weeks to allow for one flexible rest week. And lastly, note down your plan for progressive overload. For example, one exercise I pick is sit to stand from a chair. I can currently complete one set of sit to stand from a chair and I'm aiming to progress that to three sets within four weeks. I hope these tips have been helpful. If you have osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis or chronic joint pain and are unsure if you have the right exercise program put together, make sure to get your complimentary Age Fit With Test self-assessment to identify if you are meeting 10 key components of a successful exercise program. Head to www.agefitwithtest.com to get your copy. In this video, you learn five mistakes for exercising with osteoarthritis. Subscribe for more videos on exercising with osteoarthritis. See you next time.